All right, people, what is up? Check it out. Today we're out here at the Freeport Jetty. First time we've been out here in a while. There's a struggle to find trim this morning, and we're running about 20 minutes late, but we got an awesome sunrise behind us. The surf is crowded with weight fishermen, um, and we're just gonna work it as we walk down and then get down farther, get out deep, and start throwing live shrimp on a slip court. So, throw a little bit of top water here in the surf, and we'll see if we can get after them. Right, so we saw some people catching trout in the surf so we threw a little bit of top water a little spook and i uh, had one little blow up but now we're moving on because i did like probably like 10 15 casts and that was the only blow we had so we're gonna move down here send it out to a little bit deeper and uh we're gonna start throwing corks so i think i already said that before but anyways also another thing we do not have a cart our cart rusted and rotted and broke out so we're just using one cooler with wheels and then carrying everything else so we'll see how it goes i've never done that before but we're gonna give it our best shot Alright, no one is hooked up. Saw a bunch of bait jump. Now oh, he's hooked up. What does he have here? The other guy over there just caught one on a spoon. I'm throwing a spoon. No one's throwing a cork shrimp. Looks like a uh, decent trout. Yeah, it's a good trout. It is. Nice keeper trout. It's a healthy one. Fatty. Probably 17. Oh, no one. Do not let him go in the rock. He's easily legal. That fish is all 16, 17 all day. Yes, sir. Show him. Nice. He's throwing me the cooler to get another one. Well, guys, I just caught my first bite of the day, and I got cut clean off. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but he wasn't even far out and just sliced right on the hook. I don't even have a leader on this. I'm just throwing 15-pound mono. So uh, if that keeps happening, then I might just throw on a leader. It could be Spanish or something like that. But yeah, we're gonna get back out there, see if we can get another one, or see if I can actually get one. Trout. Walk over there. See what happens. 13, 14. What is it, another trout? Small one. All right, guys, no one is putting a clinic on me today. He just got two bites pretty quickly. Maybe it's starting to pick up a little bit. Another small trout. No one is on again. Still short. first pumping I've ever caught and apparently what I read if I understand this correctly there's no length no size limit and no regu like no regulations in Texas waters so we're gonna throw them in the cooler put them on ice and I guess we're gonna try this for dinner a little taste test pretty excited all right guys I'm gonna show you all the rig we're using real quick obviously shrimp number eight treble hook number ten eight whatever you want then going up from there we got a splish tot I'm running two of them and then we have a little slip cork that we made. There's a slip cork. I electrical taped a weight to the bottom of it, like a fourth ounce or a half ounce or whatever. And this is actually a weighted cork. And then we have a bobber stop right here. So then cast it out. The weights will pull it down. And whatever depth you want, you can slide this little bobber stop up and down, depending on how deep they're biting or whatever. And there you go. Very, very simple. 20 pound forward leader, by the way. So we're still out here. The water looks real nice, but there's just nothing biting except for a little trash fish. Um, no one caught that one trout. I caught that one pompano. Actually, no one caught a few more, but he caught one keeper, one nice one. So we're going to cook those up for y'all when we get home. We're about to head out of here in about 20 minutes. We're going to start packing our stuff. And uh, yeah, so we got two shrimp in the water right now, Our la one of our last big ones. We'll see if we get anything before we head out. Otherwise, we'll meet y'all back at the house. It's been a slow day, but it was still fun. So 
Stay tuned, and we're gonna make something I've never made before. I'm excited. All right, so we're back at the house. These are our only two fish from today. All that work drove all the way down there, ended up with two fish. It was still a fun day. We got a little bit sunburned, um, but here we go. So we got this nice trout, like 17, 18 inches around there. It's a good one. And then this pompano right here, my first one ever. And it might look small, but it's actually just under 11 inches to the fork. So that is awesome. And like I said, pompano in Texas have no size or regulation. I mean, I'm not gonna keep one that's like eight inches just because, but here we are. So I'm gonna try to clean that up for my first time. And then we're gonna do a taste test on this. Let's get to it. And uh, yeah, that's it. So y'all can come over here and I'll show you how to clean the trout like always, super simple. And then we'll get into the pompano. Trout straight down, hit the backbone, turn your knife. Y'all can see it going down the backbone right there. Go all the way down, pull out around that swim bladder. That is one side. Same thing on the other. We cut the bones out. We forgot to show that because I messed up a little bit, but run the knife. You know how it is. Grab your skin right here. Keep the knife flat. Just pull the skin. You don't even have to move the knife. And then there we go. Perfectly, no skin. That's not really scales or whatever, so it doesn't matter. And there are two trout fillets. All right, now let's move on to the pompano. All right, guys, so like I said, I've never done this, but I watched Land Shark do it. Land, I don't know his name, but Victor, I think is his name from Land Shark. Um, and he did it just like this. So I'm gonna try to do it like him. You say you go right from the head right here and you cut at a straight diagonal down to the anal fin. So you can already feel a bunch of bones in here. Oh, just cut right through them. Yeah, and now we're at the backbone. So then run the knife up. Following that backbone, like how you can do with every other fish. Nice and easy. I'm trying to be careful here because this isn't a big one, obviously, so I want to get as much as I can. All right, and then we're just going to start separating it, boning it out. Wow, super firm meat. Super white too, this is awesome. So I'm excited, we went right over that backbone, back down the other side. And there is a side off of a pompano. Cut through that bone, whatever that is. Check it out. Very white meat, very firm. Awesome. I'm excited. We're definitely gonna have to try this out. So we're gonna knock the other side off and then we'll see you all in the kitchen. All right, check it out guys. I think I did a pretty good job. Obviously I missed a little bit, but it's my first time. So don't beat me up too bad in the comments. And then I still have to bone these out. And there they are though. I'm not sure if you cook these with the skin or without it. I think width, actually, so that's what we'll try. Um, yeah. Anyway. All right, so right here, we got our two pompano fillets, skin still on, uh, deboned them, pulled out all, everything, and we're about to throw them in the pan. On this one, we're gonna do absolutely no seasoning, like not even salt, nothing at all. And then on this side, we're going to see this one, season this one up pretty well. We're gonna do white wine and garlic butter seasoning right there, a little bit of cayenne, and then of course salt, and we're just gonna cook it in a little bit of butter. We're not gonna like, pan fry it we're just gonna slowly cook it in the butter so anyway that's what's going on and uh i'm ready to do it because i think it's gonna taste great all right so i put a little bit of oil on this one i don't know why i just felt like it and then uh, i added a dash of salt now we're gonna do some of this stuff boom sprinkle it all around on there probably just use all of that to be honest Maybe even more, I don't know. No, I think that's enough. All right, and then just a small touch of cayenne. That is enough for me. And we'll throw a little bit of lemon on here before it comes off or squeeze a lime, something like that. And then maybe some chives if we're feeling risky. So, all right, let's get ready to throw them in the pan. So we're gonna do the one that has no seasoning on it first just so it doesn't get any residue from the other one. I don't know if we should go skin side down first or skin side up. To be honest, I'm gonna go skin side up because I'm gonna flip it over and then get a crust on the skin. Something like that. I don't know. So we're just gonna do that. 
lay it in. As you can see, the pan's not crazy hot. Just like that. We'll just let it come up to temperature slowly. Give them the fish a flip. Oh yeah, perfect and white. Now we'll just let it finish cooking on the bottom side. All right, so this fish right here is done. It has a nice crispy skin. I'm gonna put it on the plate. And then we're gonna add a tad bit more butter and throw the other one in. All right, so we got our fish. Making sure the skin is crispy, just pushing it down, flattening it out. It is done now. We're gonna take it over to the plate. This is a seasoned one. Put it up on here. And there we go, right there. One pompano filet with no seasoning and one pompano filet seasoned up nicely. We're gonna try it out, give y'all an honest review. All right, so I'm gonna go for the unseasoned one first, of course. I think this is my first time eating pompano. So here we go. Flaking a little bit off, no skin on this bite. As you can see, looks very good, very white on the inside. Let's try it out. Yeah, it's really good. Um, There's like no fishy flavor at all, which is surprising because there's no seasoning to cover it. So yeah, um, we're gonna get my dad over here to try it and then we're gonna get Nolan to try it and see what he thinks. Before, or now, I'm gonna go into this one though before they do that. So let's try this piece right here. Maybe we'll get a piece of skin with it. Bam! Yep, and that is even better. All right, guys, this is my dad right here. Uh, so he's gonna go for it. So you gotta say hi. Hello. <laughs> no, 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 this one's first. This one's first. As I recall, my first time eating Coppernow as well. Really? Yes. Wow, in all of his 92 years. So that's no, there's not even salt on that, nothing. That's pretty good fish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see. And that's the seasoned one. I like that one better. Really? The unseasoned one? Yeah, but the fish has got good texture, you know. Yeah, it's fine. All right, you heard it here first, guys. It's good. Uh, now we're gonna get Nolan over here to try it. So, let's do that. All right, Nolan's over there now. He's gonna get a bite. He's going with the unseasoned one first. Let's see it. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> That's actually pretty good for me, unseasoned. Wow. I haven't had pop in it. And uh, it's pretty good. Now uh, let's go for the seasoned one. That's pretty good. The seasoned one is better. I like the seasoned one. Now we have contradicting views. Now we have the seasoned ones better and then my dad says the other one's better. Which one's your favorite? Seasoned, of course. I mean, it, does, it doesn't have a fishy taste though at all, right? Not at all. Yeah. All right, so you heard it first. We're gonna get over there. I'm gonna eat some of this before no one eats it all. All right, guys. Well, let me just say, that fish right there, the pompano, was probably my number one fish to eat. I know a lot of people say that, but it's actually super good. I'd love to be able to catch some more sometime and then be able to cook them like in some of our favorite recipes that we already do. Because if it's good like that, plain with pretty much nothing on it, then I know it'd be great, you know, with a lot of stuff and season up real nice. So, thank y'all so much for watching. Oh, oh, also, check out this tan line that we got at the Jetties yesterday. That's why you should wear pants with the Jetties and uh, don't wear, you know, high socks like Nolan got a goofy one too. Anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all liked. Um, I know it was a slow video, but we still had fun. And uh, hit that like button down below, leave a comment, and make sure to subscribe if you're not already. And also, follow us on Instagram at before underscore outdoors. Until next time, peace.